Here I am at Sequoia National Park, hiking, and it is snowing. This is the most bundled up I've had to be since I moved to California. It is snowing. It's about 30 degrees. I've got a winter coat, winter boots, hats, gloves, everything. But this, this is beautiful. Look at this. All right, starting the Sherman Tree Trail. Uh, definitely, it would be nice to have snowshoes, probably. Uh, so far, it's been okay, because I've just been walking on a road that's closed off. But there were a few deep spots, and depending on how worn this trail is, it could be difficult going. But there's lots of trails back here, and I'm just gonna kind of follow the map and make a short little loop out of it and see what I can see. Take a look guys, I've got a couple just massive sequoia trees here. I think we're getting close to the General Sherman. There's another one back there, another one right there. Huge trees. This is this is great. This is exactly the kind of hike I wanted coming to Sequoia in the winter. The snow falling, snow covering the ground, not a lot of people. Look at this. That is a huge tree. All right, here we are guys, the General Sherman tree. It is apparently the largest tree by volume on the planet. About 36 and a half feet diameter at the base and 103 foot circumference around the base, which is insane. Huge tree and a few other big ones in this area. And just a few people here. I imagine in the summer, this place is probably packed. So really nice to see it in winter. And just, I mean, look how beautiful it is with the snow covering the ground. Not a lot of people experience this. I am now hiking a little bit of the Congress Trail, which I think will get me away from the people who mostly come here to see General Sherman and give me some complete solitude to experience the quietness and the profoundness of this forest and these giant trees, these huge this one has some fire, fire scars, it looks like. Oh, that one back there too. A little bit of fire damage. But they're going strong. Keep going, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that burn scarring. Oh my gosh, it's hollowed out. Lightning strike, burning, something like that. Look inside of it. This is inside the base of this giant sequoia. Here's a couple, a stand of some pretty big ones. Look at these guys. Looks like a burl up on that one. Oh my gosh, they are so big. Some burn scarring at the bottom. You can see right through that one. Oh, great. This one, this one's seen better days, but still going. So big, so old.
I could walk right through that. Just a really pretty area right here. A couple big ones covered in snow at the base. Just a really nice walk. In winter wonderland. You don't get forests like this back in Wisconsin. Not this big anyway. Another stand of trees. And the snow's coming down again. It did clear up for a short time. Some people filming something over there. Oh, there she is running in a dress. This is California. You're never far away from something like that. Another pretty part of the trail, but I mean the entire trail has been gorgeous. But just to give you an idea of how deep the snow is off the trail, I buried my poles on each side of the packed area and they're about mm, a foot a foot in let's take this one out see it covers the entire bottom of the pole so i mean if the snow part wasn't packed it'd be rough going but as it is not too bad here we go guys everyone likes to walk through a little tree tunnel Here's a fallen log and went over the trail, so carved a tunnel right through it. Let's see if I can stand up without crouching. It's gonna be close. Ah, I make it, yep. So I'm five foot nine and I'd say it's about six foot. As you can see, the sun is starting to poke out. I'm making my way back to the car. I've gone about four and a half miles and probably got like three quarters of a mile to a mile left since the parking lot actually uh, isn't open and I had to park up the street a ways. Uh, but this was a very fun hike, uh, very fun to do in winter you do they do require you at least carry tire chains if you come up here in winter just in case uh, and it is at 7,000 feet elevation so that's probably also why I'm breathing so hard but very good elevation exercise for me since I like to hike up the mountains anyway so this is good exercise uh, great visit Highly recommend in winter and hopefully I will be back in spring or summer. All right, I am back near the entrance station in the foothills of the mountains. As you can see, it's quite different. Uh, no more snow, a lot more green. It is raining. Um, I went from snow to sleet mix to rain. So I've experienced many seasons today. Uh, a lot more green down here. You can see the clouds rolling in over the mountains. And I am headed out. Bye.